Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today we're with Hubert Lau, the president and CEO of Trustbex. How are you doing today? Fantastic, Chris. Thank you for having me on your show. Um, can you just give a quick overview of the company for investors who may not know much about it? Oh, absolutely. So Trustbex is traded on the TSX Venture as TBIX, as well as on the OTCQB as TBIXF, F for foreign. And what we are is a uh, technology company with a blockchain infrastructure uh, that we use to validate information and brand claims for companies such as McDonald's, Loblaws, and so forth. And our vision is to create a world that we would trust more, waste less, and reward sustainable behavior. And what are you, when you're working with McDonald's, what exactly are you tracking for them? For them, we're, we're tracking something called certified sustainable beef. So in their supply chain, it will, uh, uh, they want to know right from the farm of origin until it becomes a burger patty that the production practices is based on the Canadian Roundtable for Sustainable Beef Indicators. So we not only track all of that for companies like McDonald's, but we also take in, uh, incentive uh, uh, funds from the retailers such as McDonald's and distributed to the farms and feedlots across Canada for the extra work they do. So you're both a, a tracking mechanism as well as a payment system. Yes. That's great. Now I noticed that uh, the year ends coming up and, and looking at your growth, uh, your last 12 months growth, I noticed you were up about 40%. Uh, what can you sort of tell us about how your year's gone done and, and you have a, a, a year end coming up, is that correct? Yes, uh, we anticipate we'll be releasing our year year end financials uh, next week. Uh, so please stay in tune with that. But if you look at our Q3 year to date, you can uh, see that we are up like you're saying. I can't comment on how much we're up or not at the end. But I would say that um, uh, barring any monumental mistakes that we made, I think uh, we're all happy. That's good. Um, when you're talking about uh, your products, I, I did a little review of your latest news releases and you had a number of announcements on your BIX platform, which is your business information or sorry, info exchange uh, system. So can you uh, give us a little bit of overview of, of the product enhancements you've done recently? Absolutely. What we have we have done uh, recently is to ensure that uh, we no longer just track beef. We're able to track pretty much all food products. And with the enhancement uh, announcement is that not only are we just about food, if we wanted to, we can expand into other industries, other sectors as well, based on our platform. Uh, and it really positions us to not only do traceability and, and tracking of information on an operation level, operational level, but also on a supply chain and value chain level. So when you think about what our retailers and wholesalers need to claim or put onto their balance sheets nowadays uh, we're moving towards allowing them to be able to have validated or verified information for them to make the claims that they want and i saw one that sort of piqued my interest it was biomass yes. so what it, what exactly is the biomass that you're tracking that i think that fascinated me well, the biomass, it, it was a fascinating thing and a great learning experience for us too, because if we're talking about reduced waste as part of our mission, is that if we can take biomass waste and convert it into bio-industrial products, so you're reusing waste in different manners, it, it is fantastic. But one of the things that the, the biomass industry has, has ran into is how do they know that the end products really came through what is claimed? And so... The, uh, the BQNC, which is the Biomass Quality Network of Canada, uh, with over 500 members in it, actually approached us and say, we love what you're doing and that it allows us to make the claims that we want to. Could you be more involved with us and help all of our members with their business models and leverage your platform, the BICS platform, for the type of claims they want to make? to show that the not only the reduction of waste, but also the reusing uh, into bio-industrial products. Well, that's great. Um, and your latest news was a, a round of financing, uh, maybe up, up to a million dollars. Um, how is that going and, and what are you going to use the funds for? 
Well, the uh, the reason for for the financing is that we're looking at into uh, 2022 and onwards. And one of the things that we're seeing is that there's a lot of orphaned technology companies who are looking to grow, but they just don't have the right solution to grow within. And so we could uh, potentially pick these up as uh, acquisition opportunities for us. So the million dollars that we want to raise is to start positioning ourselves into that. And we're doing it at 16 cents, no warrants. And uh, we've just announced it and we're already uh, got $700,000 committed. So we're down to our last 300. Great. And so what are you going to target it for? Is it acquisitions or also the product development? Uh, you know what? It, it's going to be a whole mixture of them, we're, uh, you know, as well as working capital, of course, because, uh, you know, we're always looking at how to grow and how to be more efficient. And so our development is nonstop. That's part of our R&D. And, and uh, you know, year to date, uh, our R&D has gone up 100 uh, percent than yeah. previous years. So really focus on R&D acquisition and then also making sure that our, our company is running efficiently. Now, looking at this space, you're operating in things like trust. Uh, you know, reducing waste, uh, sustainability. What sort of uh, market size are you looking at either in Canada or, or the U.S. right now? Well, I would say it is well into the billions because if you look at the investment market right now, ESG, the environmental social governance side of the equation, everyone's talking about it. So the question is, how do you quantify claims on ESG from an operation level all the way through a supply chain level. And we are positioned extremely well to do that moving forward. And uh, that's part of our 2022 strategy. Well, great. I, I, I appreciate your time today. Uh, and I look forward to following the company over the next year uh, as you raise funds and, 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 and allocate those funds uh, to production. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Happy holidays, everyone.